Hi, this is Vet. Welcome again to my Art Cycle Club studio. Today we're going to do a really cool project I learned when I was actually in Girl Scouts. We won't say how long ago that was, but um, it was during a camping thing, which camping wasn't, wasn't what I really liked about it. The fact that we did these sit-upons. These are made from woven newspaper. And here I am many years later doing the same project. So as you can see, these are mats that are woven from newspaper and they can be painted on or drawn on. It doesn't really matter. They're very versatile. I'll talk a little bit about what you can do with them later. But all you need is hands and newspaper. The first thing you're going to do is get newspaper. Local paper. You're going to take one section and tear it into half sheets. So it's a full sheet like this. Okay. Once you get your one section, you're going to fold it three times. One, two, and three. You'll need to have about 20 of these because depending on how tight or how loose you weave your strips, that's how many you'll use. Okay, so I'll be right back after I fold up 20. All right, now I have my stacks and what I've done is I've stacked them so that all the folds are on one side because that makes it much easier when you're doing your layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these to the side and I'm going to lay out nine. And again, the fold is facing up. It'll be much easier when you are weaving to do it this way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Now with the tenth one, I'm going to weave over and under, over and under, over and under. And it gets a little tricky with the first two, but after you do that, it's easy, easy, easy. So you're going to hold one down and put one on top. And hold one down and put one on top. Over and under, over and under, over and under. And I'm going to finish this row and I'll be right back. Alright, now you can see I've done about four, so I want to show you the pattern. We started with over and under, over and under, over and under, over and under, all the way across. The next row, you do the opposite under and over, under and over, under and over, all the way to the end. The next row is the same as the first one, so it's always the opposite row. So if you're starting on top on this one, the next one you start under. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this row and I'll be right back to show you what we do next. Okay, you can tell now that I have woven all of my strips. What I've been doing is tucking them closer and closer together to get my weave as tight as I can. You should not be able to see your bottom surface through any of the cracks. So you're just going to push, push, push from all directions. The ones on the edge will still be a little bit loose, but that will go away shortly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold every other section. The way that you determine it, when I fold up like this, I can tuck this in. If I fold this one, there's a hole there, so I know I'm going to skip that one. So you crease it, you tuck it in, and you press it down. You skip one, crease, and I like to give mine a little extra fold before I tuck it in. Make sure it's nice and flat. And again, I'm going to skip one, and fold it, and tuck it in. You're going to do that all the way around. okay? To make sure it's nice and snug and I'll go ahead and finish that and I'll be right back. Okay, Now as you can see I've done every other one and they're all folded up. Well to make it nice and tight and even very gently you put your hand underneath and flip it over. Now you're going to do the same thing every other one all the way around fold it and tuck it under. Fold it. Now if it's too short on this end or too long, you just even it out and you can move it up and down. Make sure it's even because you don't want these to be too short when you get around there. So 
I'm going to tuck it in. So I'll finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm down to the last one. As you can see, there's no waste here involved because now my sit-upon is ready to go. Now you can use the sit-upon for any number of things. It can go on the table and put something hot or cold on it or wet. You can put it in your car. If it's a muddy day outside, the rain won't affect this whatsoever. Once it dries, you just brush it off and keep going. You can also use it when you're out at the park. Say the grass is wet or it's questionable what's on the grass. You put this down and you can sit on it. That's why they call it a sit upon. If the bench is hot, you don't want to burn yourself. So you bring your sit upon along, easy to carry under your arm, in your pouch, very portable. You can decorate it. Like I said, you can go on the table, 